Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a feel on this set. This is actually not my previous work. She went somewhere else and they charged her $90 for this set and it's been about two weeks now so I um, was able to finally get her in for her feel. Um, but yeah, so this is not my previous work. So of course the first thing that I'm doing is just going in and removing the gel polish from her nails her um, acrylic was kind of thin um, But the nails I think overall were not too bad, but definitely not worth $90 um, So yeah, I, I was kind of surprised when she told me that um, so we're gonna go ahead and redo the whole set with some bling and some nail art of course um so again the first thing we're doing is just going in with the extra coarse drill bit to remove the gel polish we go around the cuticle area first and removing it from the rest of the nail remember that when you are doing this you want to make sure that you do not put too much pressure on the nail and also that you keep your drill moving at all times because you don't want to cause any friction because it'll cause their finger to or their nail to burn so i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and then we'll move on to the next step Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and push the cuticles back. As always, this just helps with exposing the new growth and making sure that we don't get any lifting. Um, so again, just pushing back the cuticles. You can use any type of cuticle pusher, whether it's metal, plastic, wood. It doesn't matter just as long as you get those cuticles pushed back. After this, we're going to go in with a 180 sanding band and we're going to be removing the shine from the natural nail. And I'm using, again, my Scarlet Melody Susie nail drill i do have a promo code for them so i'll leave it down below and for this part i'm using it at 5000 rpms um but as i always say that you know you don't have to use it at the speed that i use it at just whatever makes you feel comfortable um you know just start off slow and then speed it up as you get a little bit more comfortable um but i know it is i know that it is a little bit intimidating working with your drill especially as a beginner you're scared to get around the cuticle area but it gets better with time so once we finish removing the shine from the natural nail we're gonna go ahead and dust the nails off and then we're gonna go in with the primer which i use the young nail protein bond and this just helps the acrylic adhere better to the nail um, and then for the acrylic we're gonna use the mia secret acrylic system Alrighty, so again, we're just going to apply the primer right on the natural nail, making sure that we don't get it on the skin. And then after this, we're going to go in with the acrylic, again, Mia Secret acrylic system. I really like the Mia Secret because it's really um, beginner friendly. It gives you enough time to kind of play around with it. And, you know, it doesn't dry too fast, so it's not bumpy and lumpy. Um, so, of course, the first thing that we did is place the bead closer to the cuticle area. And I'm going to go in and apply another one right um, where I placed the first one because I want to make sure that I have a nice little apex so her nails are not super flat like they were at first. Um, so, remember that when you're applying the acrylic, make sure that you brush the acrylic down really gently because you don't want the br to brush the product off the nail. And then also, while you're working make sure that you look at the nail from different angles that way you see where you need to add more acrylic and of course making sure that we clean around the cuticle area because we don't want any product 
on the skin so same thing just place your bead down closer to the cuticle area pat it down and brushing it down towards the tip cleaning around the cuticle area and then making sure that the acrylic is nice and smooth um, and then as always I'm using my alpha brush in a number 10 um, and I do have a link for them um, again remember to look at the nail from different angles I know I say that a lot but it's really important because if not um, you know your apex not be might not be thick enough or maybe your tip is too thin and when you look at it from the side you're gonna be able to tell you know where you need to go back and add more product at so you want to make sure that you're really careful and that you pay attention to those two things um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying the acrylic and then we'll move on to the next step
Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic, I'm going to go in with the 100-100 nail file. And I'm going to bring these nails back to life by shaping them into a coffin shape. So as always, following the sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle to make sure that they're the perfect little coffin shape. Um, so same thing, just going in on the sides. Make sure that when you're doing this, you go right from the nail groove, which is the side of the nail, towards the free edge. And make sure that you're holding your file at exactly a 90 degree angle your shape is literally all about your angle um so make sure that you pay attention to that and of course just watch your shape as you're filing that way you know if you need to file a little bit more on one side or the other um it's all about you know just kind of um going by um how would I say just you know just pay attention to the shape and you know it's going to be a little bit different for each finger um, so just watch what you're doing Alrighty, so next we're going to go in with the fine drill bed or extra fine drill bed actually and we're going to file the acrylic as always i start around the cuticle area first going from that right side all the way over to the left side just going back and forth until we're able to see where the cuticle is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is that way we know that the acrylic is not on the skin and then of course following the rest of the nail as we go to make sure that it's nice and smooth but mainly focusing around the cuticle area especially if you're a beginner i know how hard it is to prevent lifting um, but you just want to make sure that you're doing this part correctly and of course you know it also depends on if you're prepping the nail good if you're applying the right size tips but like 99 percent of the time if you are not falling around this cuticle area good enough you will get lifting no matter you know if you're doing everything else correctly if you do not seal the cuticle area with the fine or extra fine drill bit you will get lifting um, but again it takes you know a lot of practice to finally be able to achieve no lifting but you know you just have to get comfortable working around that cuticle area with your drill bit and like I said earlier you know just start really slow and then just work your way up in speed um, you know once you keep using it you're gonna get a little bit more comfortable as time goes by but the only way to get better is just by practicing
Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and buff the nails. Remember, this is just going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those nails really, really good. And then after this, we're just going to go ahead and dust the nails off and wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Alrighty, so here is what the nails look like after I applied the acrylic. As you can see, we have a nice thickness and they were nice and smooth. And then we have a really nice shape as well. Um, so after this, we're going to go ahead and just apply the polish and nail art. So the first color that I'm using is by Madame Glam in the color Angel Wings. This is one of my favorite colors by Madame Glam. I'll be sure to leave the information down below for you guys if you want to check them out. And I also have a promo code. Um, so we're, again, we're going to be using this pink. And then we're also going to be using um, another one of the Mia Secret Gel Polishes in the color Perfect White. Um, and I always, always, always make sure that I keep a white and a black. Those are, you know, one of the most important colors to have. They're just like some of the main colors. Um, so if you're looking for gel polishes, I do highly recommend Madame Glam. Yes, they are a little bit, you know, on the more expensive side. But trust me, they're definitely worth every penny. And then plus, they always have um, a sale going on. They also have the VIP program where you pay 20 I believe it's $29 a month. And then that money is actually credited to your account. Um, so whenever you purchase, you can use that $29 to buy gel polish. So to me, it's like you're paying, but you're really not paying because you get to use that same money, you know, to buy products. Um, but I do really like them and I do highly recommend them. Them. Um, so after we finish applying one coat of each color on this hand, we're going to um, go ahead and cure it for 30 seconds and then we're going to do the same thing on the other hand.
Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and do the second coat of each color, which again, this is the perfect white, and then the pink one is in the color Angel Wings by Madame Glam. And then after this, we're going to cure each coat again for 30 seconds, and then we're going to do the second coat on the other hand as well. Alrighty, so after we finish applying the two coats of gel polish on all of the fingers, I'm going to go in with that same white and I'm going to apply it on the white. And we're just going to do a little simple marble design. As you can see, I did a little bit of pink and just dabbed it with the brush. And my brush, I dip it into a little bit of acetone and just dab the nail and it kind of makes the polish spread out. And then I just go in again and just outline it just a little bit and it gives it that marble effect. And then I'm going to go in with um, some foil gel from nail supply glamour i'm gonna apply that on this ring finger and the thumb and this uh, foil gel has to be cured for 60 seconds um, and i actually like it better than the actual glue because the glue like it would chip eventually and this one it stays on really really good so again the pink on the white nails making it into a marble design so just apply a little bit of polish just dab it around come back in and add a little bit more and your marble is going to always be different you know it's never going to come out the same ever 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 so just kind of play with it you know until you kind of like how it looks um and that's pretty much it and then for this one we're going to do the middle finger and the thumb with the foil gel and then same thing we're going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds and then afterwards we're going to come back in and just apply some flower foils Next, we're going to go in with some striping tape and this one, the key to applying this one is making sure that you apply it um, to where it's not hanging off the nail. So as you can see, I go in and cut off anything that may be hanging off the nail. And um, afterwards, we're going to do two coats of top coat. That way it stays on really, really good. If you leave it to where it hangs off the nail, it will peel off. Um, so you want to make sure that again, you place it as close as you can on the nail. Next, we're going to go in with the transfer foil with the flowers. You just place it right on the nail and just um you know kind of dab it with your uh, thumb or you just your finger and um as you can see i'm going in and adding a few little flowers um around the nail and that's pretty much it as you can see it sticks on really really easily um and then with the um foil gel of course you don't have to wait for it to actually air dry you just cure it which is why i like it a lot better as well 
Next, I'm going to go in with the Soleil Nail Adhesive and I'm going to apply some bling. On this middle finger, I'm just doing an SS12 right in the middle and three SS12 on the sides. And then, of course, afterwards, spraying them with the Mia Secret Dry Resin Activator to help that glue dry a lot faster. And then I'm going to go in with the Madam Glam Gel Top Coat on all of the nails and curing for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so same thing on the other hand, just applying the striper tape on the pinky and on the index finger, cutting it as close as you can to that nail, and then we're going to do the foil on the middle finger and the thumb as well, and then applying the bling on the ring finger. Alrighty, so we're going back to the first hand and I'm just going to gently buff the sides and the tip of the nails with the striper tape. That's just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and again that no, none of the tip is hanging off because if not it will come off. Um, so after that I just wipe those nails off and then I go back in and just add a second top coat and then cure for another 60 seconds. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really, really pretty. Definitely a lot better than the $90 set that she paid for. And this set was only $30 for her feel. This is what the side of the nails look like. Here's an angle from kind of the front so you can see the thickness. And they just overall look so much better. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to, you know, just see the thickness. But yeah, so as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNo32. And I'll see you guys next time.